<clears throat> hey guys, hey guys. So I'm sitting on my couch working. So I'm blogging. I'm doing a blog um, from BitConnect. BitConnect just came out with some awesome and amazing news for 2018. So, you know, basically all I'm doing is just blogging, uh, you know, about it, guys. So working, you know, what does that mean? I met a guy today and he was telling me, it's like people just tell me their problems. He was telling me how he works two jobs, right? I was in the supermarket and he said, I have two jobs. And I said, that sucks. I said, two jobs is for two people. And he was like, oh, well, you know, I got kids or whatever. And I said, you know, people always say that to me. You know, I have two jobs because I have kids. Why not say I have a business at home because I got kids I got to take care of and the kids need to see me? See, people don't value time. They only think about the money, right? Nobody really values time. Kids need time with their parents. Not just money. Yeah, money, of course, we all need money. But your kids need time, guys. So this is why I love working from home cooking. I'm making some um, corned beef and cabbage that's going to last for two days. I ain't playing. I'm making it for two days. They're going to eat that shit for two days. They want to take some to the school or lunch or whatever they need to do. I'm making for two days. And I'm sitting here blogging right here, uh, you know, on Big Connect. Um, go to allnationalnewstoday.com, guys, and you can click and see. Uh, you know, what BitConnect is doing, but I'm also doing my Amazon, right? So, you know, I'm just fixing my Amazon store up. I'm just looking, uh, you know, at, you know, my Amazon store. So I made two sales so far today, and that was about a hundred bucks. So here's the thing about working from home, guys. You can set your own schedule, okay? I could work. My kids and my husband ain't out here right now. So for the next three, four hours, if I decide to work, I work, right? You set your own schedule, you set your own time, you set your own income. Set your own time, your own schedule, right? Your income, sky becomes the limit with your income. You know, sky becomes the limit with your income, friends, okay? You don't have to, okay, work 20 hours a day. No, okay? You literally can work three, four hours a day, okay? And I'm checking on some of my investments. I'm checking on um, some things here, guys. So I always tell people, guys, start a business part freaking time. So eventually, if you're serious, right, eventually your business will literally start to take over your life if you allow it to, right? Right? So when I say working from home, guys, right now I'm on my couch. I'm not even in my office right now. I, I just didn't feel like going downstairs. Right? How many people can say, oh, I didn't feel like going to the office today, so I decided to work from my bed or work from my couch or work from my car. There's days I, I spend two, three hours in my car literally just working from my cell phone. And what I love about working from home, guys, is that I have the freedom. Key word. The freedom to do it when I want to. I could wake up 4 in the morning to work. I could wake up 5 in the morning to work. I could wake up 12 midnight and work. I could work 10 at night, right? The freedom, guys, right? Mentally, we're, we're not free, right? Because we're living in a society where the government dictates what we do, how we do it, you know, uh, you know how much taxes and all that. But just to have a peace of mind, with some freedom, guys, to be able to say, oh, if I feel sick today, I don't got to get up and go to work. If my kids even feel sick, they don't got to get up and go to school. Because I can remember, guys, when I used to work a job, a dead-end job. People wake up, go hard for their dead-end job that don't give a fuck about them. Okay? My dead-end job, guys. Okay, I will wake up, bust my ass every day that didn't give a fuck about me. My kids... They used to be sick. They used to have to go to school because I had to go to my dead-end job. I wake up sick because I don't have time or I was scared to call out. I could. I had to go to work, right? Snowing. I had to go to work. Guys, for the last six years, we had about maybe three or four blizzards in New York. And, you know, the snow, five, five inches, ten inches. And schools were still open. People still had to go to their jobs. My aunt, who's a teacher, still had to go to her job because the school was open. 
I looked outside because I got a window near my bed. The baby. I looked right out there. I saw that snow. I said, honey, I'm not about to tackle that snow. And I made that decision. That's it. I just made a decision to go lay back down. And guess what? My kids was happy, of course, because they didn't want to go to school anyway. All they did was play outside. So those are the things, guys. That, that's a small thing, but it makes a huge difference, guys, that you can make a decision what you do with your time. Because you're not dictated by a job that don't even like you. By a job that's not even paying you what you worth, right? By a job or a boss who can fire you at any time because they don't feel like it. I mean, because they feel like it. Real talk, guys. So the freedom to being able to be your own boss, guys, to make that decision, even if it's too damn hot outside. Oh, no, we ain't going outside. It's 150 degrees. Uh-uh, we about to stay inside today, baby. Or... Instead of going to school, how to ask school, we going to go to the beach. We're going to go to the pool. Or I could take a plane trip somewhere where it's cooler. You know, just make those decisions, guys. And I'm telling you, once you are free here and you can make decisions that control your life, I'm telling you guys, you feel 100% better. You feel better about controlling your life. Controlling your income, controlling your mind. And then guess what, guys? Your confidence builds. You know how much people that, that live in my area, you know, go to work and I'm like, all right, Bob, boo, see ya. And they be looking at me like, what are you doing? Why you don't go to work? <laughs> Why are you going to work? Here's the thing, guys. I, I'm guaranteed in the next 10 years, by 2027, Half of the people are going to be working from home because guess what? Jobs now is even allowing people to work from home. But I'm not just talking about having a job. Starting your own business, doing Amazon, doing cryptocurrency, the blockchain will allow people to work from home. Be even engineering, working from home on your computer. It is going to change, guys. It's going to change. Guys, in the next 10 years, one in four people will be working from home. I read an article. One in four people will be working from home. I'm blogging right now, BitConnect. Why? Because BitConnect is so new. Guys, that you get in right now and start doing YouTube videos, you'll start getting subscribers and you'll start getting referrals for you people who can't recruit. Most of my people I recruit on Instagram and on, <coughs> on Instagram and YouTube. Right? And I'm running an Instagram ad and I do free YouTube videos. So at the end of the day, right guys, <laughs> freedom, right, starts with you. Not your boss, not your boss saying, oh, they're going to give you a 25 cent raise. You know, I spoke to somebody the other day and they were saying, well, I'm looking forward to my 25 cent raise. I said, really? You really looking forward to a 25 cent raise? Man, I'm sitting here looking at my Amazon. I'm like, well, I'm at four grand right now. How can I get to eight grand? Not 25 cent, baby. But see, the problem is, guys, when you're not free, you don't ever think of freedom. You don't ever think of being free. You don't ever, you know, think of free thoughts. Because when you're bonded and you're struggling and you're living check to check and you're living in this whole freedom, like that's not even on the list because you feel like you can never achieve that anyway. But I'm here to tell you guys, you can but you have to start. You got to stay abreast. You got to invest in knowledge. You got to invest in mentors. You got to buy books. You got to go to seminars to transform your mind. It's not just good enough just to sit home. No, guys, you got to explore, travel somewhere, expand. Right? You know, even though I'm still, you know, a little sick, guys. Guess what? I have to call no boss and say, oh, boss, I'm, I'm tired today. I'm sick today. Can I stay home? Baby, I still went to the gym. Felt good. S still went to the grocery store. Felt good. Made a, fuck uh, a couple of phone calls. Spoke to my grandmother. I'm cooking and I'm blogging, <laughs> looking at Amazon and looking at BitConnect. All while sick. But if I had a job, I would have to go in to do a job that I hate. And when you sick and you got to go to work, going to the job makes you even more sick. So by me being home sick, I still feel good. I'm still able to do what I want to do and still move, 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 move. So when I tell people working from home, start you a business part time, start your Amazon, 
okay? Start your affiliate marketing. Start your multi-level marketing business from home. See, this sounds foreign because nobody does it. You know, maybe your mom didn't teach you. Maybe your grandmother didn't teach you. Maybe your cousins and your aunts didn't teach you. But you subscribe. You landed on this video. Make sure you subscribe so that you can now understand that, you know what? This black girl can work from home, right? Whether you white, green, blue, or orange, baby, a male or female, I don't care. I help people across the doggone world start them a business and make money. I got people calling me, texting me, emailing me, literally crying. Tanisha, you changed my life. Thank you very much. I'm so happy that I decided to listen to you. I'm so happy that I started me a business. I'm so happy that I made my first $1,000. I'm so happy that I got three grand right now. That makes me feel good. That makes me feel good, guys. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, guys, if you never think a free thought, if you never think that you can be free, you will always be in shackles. So start a business, guys, part-time. Hands down, working from home is the best decision that I've ever freaking made. I had to cut family off and friends off because they mad as hell at me because I made a decision that I wanted to have some freedom, that I wanted to control my income, that I knew that I was worth more than just going to a dead-end job, working 10 hours a day to come home and not even see my kids. What is more important in life, guys? Your job or your children or your family? Not my job. Jobs suck. I'm going to be honest. I don't give a fuck if you're making a six figures at a job. Jobs suck. Jobs suck. Hey, I haven't had a job in six years. I'm not interested in a job. One thing don't work out. See, I have a skill set. If one business don't work out, then I'll get in another one. That one don't work out, I'll find another one. See, I'm a hustler though, right? Right? I'm a you know, black girl from the hood. Like you know, if you ain't no, if you from the hood, you're not a hustle. Then I don't know what you learn. Okay, but at the end of the day, guys, I'm gonna tell you one thing. If you don't never think of a free thought, if all your thoughts are dictated by your boss and what is in your bank account, guys, you will never win. It's people right now, 55, 65, 75 years old, and they ain't got a pot or a window. They living out of their cars. They living out of their mother's uh, basement room. They living out of their ex-boyfriend's garage. I hear all kind of stories, guys. Okay? So when I say start a business part-time, start a business part-time. Three incomes is what you need to start to achieve financial independence. At least three. One, you'll never make it. Two, you're kind of sliding. Three, at least, now you can pay your bills, right? And be debt free and still have money left over. But see, the problem is, got a lot of people don't even know how to have money left over because they so used to, for the last 40, 50 years, they only been living check to check. So for them to have extra money is foreign language. Baby, let me tell you something. If you don't got a stash of money somewhere where you can tap into at any given time, you in bad shape, honey. You in bad shape. See, I love people and I talk the way I talk and I do videos because people need to wake up. People in this sunken place and I want to pull people out, but I can't pull everybody out because everybody ain't going to listen. Some people think I'm fucking crazy. Oh, I would never work from home. She fucking nuts. I ain't working from home. I ain't staying home with my kids. Some people, some people not like that. Some people don't want to stay home with their kids, but the ones that do, those are the ones I'm looking to help, guys. And a lot of single moms, okay, you need to stay home with your children. If you're a single mom, they already don't have the dad. Now you go to work, they don't have you either. So who the fuck do your kids have to look up to? The teacher? The teacher's stupid. Who, the babysitter? The babysitter's stupid. Or grandma? Grandma half sleep. So who, who the kids got to look up to? Nobody. But you. So either you make a decision, guys, or your life will continue to go downhill. And then your kids' lives will go downhill. And then your grandkids' lives will go downhill. See, it's a cycle. 
you got to start it. You have to start the cycle that's going to move everybody. I got my mom, I got my grandmother moving, my aunts moving, my uncles, my cousins, husband. But I started six years ago. Nobody supported me. People ain't start supporting me to two years ago. Right? So for four years, I had to do this shit by myself. But guess what? I had a vision. I said, fuck what everybody want to do. Let them go to work. I'm a hustle and I'm a struggle by myself. See, the struggle only lasts a little bit. If you're struggling for 40 years, I don't know what you're doing. You're only supposed to struggle a little bit. Like with your weight loss. Struggle a little bit. Then achieve your goal. Struggle financially a little bit. And then achieve you know, your goal. Struggle with your relationships a little bit. Then achieve your goal. I was struggling in my, in my relationship. But I'm not struggling now. Now we go through things. We argue. Yeah, who the fuck does it? But I'm not struggling in my relationship. I'm not struggling to communicate with my husband. I'm not struggling financially. See, the struggle only lasts a little bit. And then you wake up. But the sad part is, guys, most people don't ever wake up and they die without ever living. Mm, deep. So, createmyownEconomy.com, guys. See you soon.